Hi, I am Fyodor Famin, and I present our paper with Piotr Golovac on subexponential parameterized algorithms and canalizations on almost chordal graphs. In this work, we study optimization problems on graphs that can be turned into a chordal graph by adding at most k edges. It appears that many optimization problems, like the problem of finding an independent set of maximum weight, the problem of finding induced bipartite subgraph, weighted feedback vertex set, and many others are solvable in time, which is sub-exponential in K. We find it surprising. There are a lot of study in parameterized complexity about structural parameterization. Like many problems, they are FPT, parameterized by the trivets of a graph, by vertex cover, and many other parameters. But the running time of this algorithm is always at least single exponential in the parameter. This is the first time we meet a natural parameterization that brings to sub-exponential algorithm. Very often, the existence of sub-exponential time algorithms goes hand in hand with kernelization. So this is natural why we are also were curious what happens from the kernelization perspective. It appears that the situation here is also very interesting, but much more complicated. The first observation is that many weighted problems like weighted independent set, weighted feedback vertex set, or a weighted clique do not have a polynomial kernel on even simple class of graphs, which are basically cliques without k edges. And the assumption here is, of course, the standard complexity assumption that coin p is not a subset on a p slash poly. This follows almost directly from the previous work of Badlander, Jensen, and Crutch. Interestingly, Weighted click admits a polynomial kernel, a polynomial Turing kernel on almost chordal graphs. Lower bounds on weighted problems do not exclude the possibility that there exists a polynomial kernelization for unweighted problems. While we did not succeed to prove upper bounds for almost chordal graphs, even for independent set. So the existence of a polykernel here is open. But we succeed to prove that independent set admits a polynomial kernel on almost interval and almost split graphs. And the result about interval graphs is the most technical part of this paper. Outline of the talk. In this video, I will speak only about subexponential algorithm for the simplest problem, maximum independent set. But first, I introduce chordal graphs. A graph is chordal if every induced cycle of length more than three contains a chord. That is, there are no induced cycles of length more than three. Solving np hat problems on chordal graphs is the classical area of graph algorithms. Many np hat problems are solvable in polynomial time and even linear time when the input graph is chordal. A natural question, what happens when a graph is almost chordal? Do such nice algorithmic properties still remain? Leitzan Kai initiated the systematic algorithmic study of graphs that are close to the graph class with nice properties. He also introduced very convenient terminology, which I will use here. In Kai notation, we are interested in chordal minus K E graphs, that is the graphs that can be obtained from a chordal graph by deleting at most k edges. 
I exemplify our approach by sketching the proof of the algorithm that solves maximum independent set in sub-exponential in k time. In other words, I want to prove the following theorem. Maximum independent set of a chordal minus ke graph can be found in time 2 to the square root of k log k plus some polynomial of k n where n is the number of vertices and m where m is the number of edges of the input graph. But first, this theorem implies that on chordal graphs, maximum independent set is solvable in polynomial time. So how to do it? The approach for solving weighted independent set on chordal graphs is based on performing dynamic programming on a click tree. Click tree is a tree decomposition with every back being a click. And it's well known that chordal graphs always have a click tree. Since every back is a click, it contains at most one vertex of any independent set. Using this, we can do dynamic programming over the click tree starting from leaves. The time of dynamic programming is proportional to the number of states, which is basically the different ways independent set can overlap with the back, which is polynomial. We want to extend the same approach to almost chordal graphs. Here we have two issues, how to compute the composition and how to do dynamic programming efficiently. First of all, computation of state decomposition follows from the previous work. So it uh, was proved in 2013 with me, by me and Ingwe Willinger that deciding whether graph G is almost chordal in time, which is sub-exponential NK. So we can find a triangulation with at most k ages if such triangulation exists in sub-exponential time. And then by the theorem of Gavril from 1974, click tree of a chordal graph can be always found in linear time. However, the issue, so the real issue happening here, how to enumerate independent sets efficiently. And uh, to bound the number of states in the dynamic programming, we prove the following lemma. Let C be almost, or be K almost click of G. That means the set of vertices such that after I add K ages to the graph G, this set C becomes a click. That's a click in the triangulation of graph G. And let I be an independent set in graph G. Then, there are at most three plus square root of one plus a k over two vertices of independent set i in c. And actually we need a, a bit more. We also need an efficient way of enumerating these sets. And uh, the second part of the lemma is that there are at most two to the square root of k times poly n different intersections of independent sets and the click. So the proof of this lemma is pretty simple. The vertices of this almost click C can be partitioned into two sets, Y and X. Set Y is a click and the, se and, uh, uh, the set X, it consists of all vertices of C which are incident to fill in ages. So the size of X is at most K. Because uh, Y is a clique, it cannot contain more than one vertex of I. Let me bound the size of the set X. Uh, the, so let X small X be the intersection of independent set and X. Then uh, the 
after adding k ages to the set x, that will be a complete graph. So x time choose two should have at most k ages here, which means that the x is bounded by the square root of one plus a k plus one over two. So putting these things together, I have that the intersection of independent set with c does not exceed one plus square root of eight k over two. And that's the end. And also for enumeration part, as the complement of a graph formed by set x is square root of k degenerate, we also can, by known results, we can enumerate all clicks there in time two to the square root of k. So this is a sketch what happening with the lemma and putting all together. So how the algorithm work? First of all, we find a fill in, we do dynamic programming, and then we uh, to estimate the running time of dynamic programming. We bound the number of states in dynamic programming by making use of lemma. So finding fill in takes this time, and uh, dynamic programming takes this time. And actually this is uh, what's happening here. And this works in much more general settings for much more general problems. To conclude, so chordal minus key e graphs or almost chordal graphs, it appears that they are extremely interesting objects from the perspective of parameterized sub-exponential algorithms and polynomial kernelization. There are a lot of interesting open questions about these graphs which can be found in our paper on archive. Thank you very much and I hope to see you in Pisa some day. Goodbye.